I'm just in all black. I was at a funeral over the weekend. Obviously, I had my suit on. I'm still at the after tears because of what happened over the weekend to Orlando Pirates. And to the Orlando Pirates faithful, this is for you. Get love and peace with the Kaiser Chiefs funeral plan, which pays up to 50,000 Rand. Wow, what a game. What a game from Kaiser Chiefs. Eh? What a game. But before I get into the analysis of how that game went, here's something that I found while, you know, while I was on the internet, while I was on YouTube. I found this clip and it gave me ideas. But first, let's watch. Imagine, if you will, a world where the whole entire Kosi nation has filled up the F&B stadium and looking at, at how uh, William Twyler performed over the weekend, for example, he's a former Orlando Pirates uh, player. Imagine the whole Kosi nation singing that song for him. How amazing would that be? How amazing would that be? I want to urge the Kosi fans, let's go out to our games, let's go support these boys and let us sing these songs. Louis Macha, Hoye Ko Simpe, Louis Macha, Hoye Ko Simpe. Huh? Imagine. Hoye Ko Simpe, Lolo Toto, Hoye Ko Simpe. Something along those lines. You guys get the idea. Imagine how amazing that would be. Let's set the trend of how fans should be in for South African football. Let's get that going, guys. I think it's going to be a really an, an amazing song if you actually get that going. Push that aside. What a game of football from Kaiser Chiefs. Granted, it was pre-season, so Pirates fans might say, no, it wasn't their formation. As um, Umshinwami was saying, they were playing with two strikers, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is two goals to nil. That is the final score. We do not care about anything else. We didn't, the coach, uh, Steve Compeller didn't pick our team either. It was picked by the fans, the Pirates fans, you guys. You guys picked that squad because you thought it was a squad that could beat Chiefs. And how wrong were you? It is really sad how wrong you were. For, again, the only two times that it hasn't gone to penalties is when Chiefs have won it. That's because we get the job done, Bala. 90 minutes. If you're not up to it, yeah, we let Pirates take it on penalties, whatever. You can't beat us in 90 minutes. You need penalties, fine, whatever. Uh, when it comes to 90 minutes, we will dominate you, like we did on Saturday. What a game. Now, it's still early season, it's still early days, it's still pre-season. And I got it wrong. I have, I'll admit, I got it wrong. And it's a good thing I didn't say I'll eat my shoe if, if Chiefs lose. But in the previous episode, I did say that Kaiser Chiefs would lose to Orlando Pirates based on the, on the striker that they had um, in Endoro. He's been in good form. But it wasn't to be over the weekend. It was all Kaiser Chiefs. A couple of key players for me. And these are some of these players I actually mentioned. Um, in the previous episode, you should go and check that out in the preview of the Carlin Black Label Cup um, that I mentioned and I said that they need a big game and boy did they have a, a big game. First and foremost, the one who impressed me the most is, um, is Eckstein. Eckstein for me had one of the best games he'd ever played for Kaiser Chiefs. I know he's been likened a lot to Jabu Pule. Um, but I think he plays a different game to Chabupule. We know he's skillful. You know, there's no take, you can't take that away from XD. He's got a lot of skill in him. But the game that he played on Saturday was a bit different to how Chabupule is to play. He played a give and go type of game. You know, he's like, he'll run into space, get the ball, pass it to someone else. He's always creating space. He was losing his markers all the time. He was finding lots of, of, of gaps in the Pirates, to, um, in, the, in the midfield of that Pirates, in that Pirates midfield and really making things happen for Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, we saw him take a, a good shot with his weaker foot. He is grown and he's exciting me because that's the, that's the type of game we want from him all the time. Um, not just the skill, I mean, Rachale, skillful player, was very ineffective. I feel we had some couple of good moments, but re uh, largely ineffective in that game. And um, Eckstein, on the other hand, he, he, was, he was brilliant. He was brilliant. He set up a good couple of chances almost uh, you know squandered a goal in for himself as well um generally for me 
Great game for him. Another one, William Twala. Uyiko Simbelo, William Twala. Uyiko Simbelo. What a game from him. He took initiative. He was running at players. He wasn't afraid to take shots. It's pretty much the same game that he's been playing since he joined Kaiser Chiefs. That's what he's been doing. I've tried, by, I've tried my, my hardest to, to not read any reviews on the game. And this is really unbiased opinions of how I feel the game went. And Kaiser Chiefs really dominated. Um, Steve Compella has been preaching the Kaiser Chiefs way of play. And if that was a, 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 an insight into what the Kaiser Chiefs way is, then I'm really excited for the coming season. Uh, they didn't allow Pirates to play. They gave him the ball in the, in the Pirates defensive section. When Pirates had the ball, it was fine. We allowed them to play. But as soon as they hit midfield and in the attacking positions, got signed it, dominating everything in that midfield, really closing players down and doing really, really well. There were a couple of moments of war. Wait, before I go into that, Matoho, what a game from him as well. He scored a goal and he saved a goal um, from Bernard Morrison, I think it was, 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 who had that shot when we were wide open and he, he saved us that goal, you know, great performance from him. Um, impressed by the guys who were coming on, the new, the, the new signings, uh, Louis Macha, Tata Machance, that's going to be his name, I'm gonna, I want to see that one sticking, uh, Tata Machance Macha. He had a good, he came on, scored goal on debut. Congratulations to him. Let Lotlo got a bit of a run. Um, I'm gonna stop it there. Uh, he came on, had a good, had a decent run out. Kumalo brought in one nice cross there as well when he came on. Um, so we're looking good, man. We're looking good for the season ahead as Kaiser Chiefs. And I really, really hope that the guys that haven't even had a chance, you know, Buchanan still to come in. That's vital still to, still to see what he can offer the side. <sighs> Kosi fans, it is a time to be excited. The Kaiser Chiefs way of football that Steve Compel has been preaching, it's looking promising. Um, one player that I was disappointed with though is George Malulek. I don't think he had as, as much of an impact in the game as I expected him to have. And he must watch out because Buchanan might just come in and take that position from him, from right under his feet. So it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. I'm in, I'm really really excited about the season that is coming, Kosi fans. I really think good things are gonna come from it. Siba trapile, siba shaile, rija joy, rija pirates. I actually haven't eaten since since the derby because I'm still full. Ntoele, ngisuti, ngisuti pirates, ngilile, si ngilile Kosi fans, and we should be proud of that. There's no such thing as a friendly. I know they might try to sell it like that. It wasn't a friendly game. There's never a friendly game between Chiefs and Pirates. The, the players, everybody wanted to win, and we came out tops. Very impressive display. We dominated possession. We dominated shots on, on uh, at goal. We were just completely dominant over them. Kune, good game as well. With a couple of times he was called up, um, he showed why he's he's the finest in the land. You know, when you've got a goalkeeper like that, you've got a, de a defender like uh, a defender like Matoho. Um, You've got in midfield, you've got Katsande, you've got William Twyla and George Lebese out wide. You've got Macha, uh, potentially Leclotlo as well playing up front because you haven't really seen all the other guys, Katsvairo and, uh, and, 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 and Chirambadari. We haven't really seen much of them. So, I mean, it's, I'm excited. I really, really hope for it's going to be a good season for, for Kaiser Chiefs uh, and Compella. You know, he's an educated player, former Kaiser Chiefs play, um, player as well himself. Let's see. Let's see what they can bring to the side. Wow. It's exciting. Kosi fans, that's it from me. I just wanted to really share my excitement about the win with you guys. Please, please, please like the video, share the video, put your comments down there. Tell me what you think of the new Kaiser, of the Kaiser Chiefs anthem. Iwi Kosi And let's try and fill up the stadiums from game one. From game one, let's fill up the stadiums and sing that anthem and let's let it ring around. Uh, Soccer City or wherever we go as the Kosi faithful. Let us sing that anthem and let's see how things go for this season That's it from me. If you have anything to discuss, it's the end of the episode, but not the end of the conversation Let's keep it going in the comments. Serengetiski